through us for He's joined us. What was that experience like today? Yeah, it was amazing, you know. I mean, for someone like me, that's the biggest crowd I've ever played under and probably one of the biggest stadiums I've played in. So, yeah, a bit surreal, really, but obviously I'm proud of, our, of the way the lads performed and just a shame we couldn't get the three points. Because you had some great opportunities today that you didn't quite take and then when you concede, you can easily think, do you know what, it's not our day. Yeah, definitely, you know, and I think that's been a big theme of our season so far, you know, dominating games, not taking the chances and then the other team go to the other end and score, but to come back from a big disappointment as we did going 1-0 down at a place like this is something we can be really proud of. A lovely moment for Lewis to get that goal. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's, he's obviously I, I've come in the summer and he, he tells me he can get goals from centre-half like he did last season. So, it's good to think that's his first one in the league this season, so hopefully he can get a few more. Yeah, but, second in total. And what about today? I mean, obviously you're up against somebody you'd have seen a lot of playing football on television and heard about in Bannon. Yeah. And I guess one of your jobs was to, to rass around him and cause him some problems. Yeah, you know, he's, he's probably pretty clear he's their standout man and he's the one who gets them playing, gets them ticking over. So I had a job to do today to get around him and I think I did it fairly well, did, did well to stop him. And like you said, he's someone who's got a lot of experience, played Premier League football, so it's a great challenge for me. And, you know, talking to the manager earlier, he feels like you're getting that consistency now which you need to, to push on and, and regularly pick up points. Yeah, I mean, it, we are getting there. I mean, with performances, I know, Tuesday night, it looked poor, but I don't think it was as bad as what it was. It was just the cutting edge. That's the big thing for us, you know, finding ways to score goals and going 1-0 up. Because I think so many games we went 1-0 down and giving ourselves a mountain to climb. So I think, you know, the next few games, if that's something we can do, especially Tuesday, the first goal is going to be crucial, another tough away game. So yeah, I think that's something we can work on. And perhaps the, just the taking the chances is that, that next step, is it? Yeah, definitely. You know, some of the openings we had in the first half, you know, scores went through a few times. Obviously, I had a few moments where I could have done a bit better. But all we can do is keep working on that on the training pitch and hopefully we get, you know, a bit of luck as well because that seems to be going against us at the minute. It must be weird when you see a player like Freddie come on and just suddenly not one of the youngest in the team. You've got some even younger players coming on. Yeah, you know, when he comes on, I feel quite <laughs> old. But no, I'm happy for him. You know, he's, he's a good lad and he works every day. And, Obviously, he's had a bit of time out of the injury, but you know it's a good achievement for him getting on today and getting his debut in such a big place. And what about yourself? How do you feel your games coming on? Obviously, you had that year in in the Netherlands. Now you've come here at a, a higher level, I'd imagine, in yeah. terms of the, the the pressure on you to play. No, it's definitely been a big step up, and obviously with the Corona situation last year, I think having no fans last year probably helped me. You know, in terms of having my first year, but now you know I'm loving playing in front of. 23,000 today, that's the experience for me and I think, I think I'm doing well, I'm fairly happy, you know, just said I, in September I set the bar quite high and that's something I need to keep trying to hit and get that consistency. And you're wearing a special shirt today, we should say, I mean, I'm sure you all know about it, it's got all the names of the fans on it and also linking in a similar shirt, it's got a very famous goal to, to get in the playoffs, it, who knows, it could be a, a shirt that might give you one of you a, a famous moment later in the season. Yeah, hopefully, you know, that'll be nice and Credit to the fans today, you know, travelling in numbers, 3,000, you know, a massive number and they got us through it at the end.